Welcome to the next lesson of the SAP S4HANA basic navigation course. In this lesson, we'll identify how the SAP menu tree is organized, as well as understand how to recognize and start a transaction from the SAP menu tree. And finally, how to use the correct options to exit a transaction. But first, let's understand the business scenario. Your company has implemented SAP, and you must understand the basics of navigating within the system before learning more about your SAP transaction tasks. You must first understand the concept of the SAP menu tree, how to begin a transaction by using it, and how to navigate the menu tree using the keyboard. So let's get started. The SAP menu tree is organized by functional areas, for example, accounting, logistics, human resources, etc. You can navigate the menu tree with your mouse or with your keyboard. And once you have navigated to a specific transaction, you simply double click to launch. You can navigate this menu tree by clicking on the arrow icon just in front of the folder icon. I'll open the accounting folder by clicking the arrow next to the accounting folder icon. This will expand the accounting menu. Notice how the menu item accounting is now open and several submenus have appeared, such as financial accounting and controlling. Now let's open the financial accounting folder by clicking that arrow. Let's continue by opening the general ledger folder. And finally, the document entry folder. Notice how the icons have changed. The transaction icon indicates that you have reached an executable transaction. This is the lowest level within the SAP menu tree. To start a transaction in SAP, simply double click the transaction line in the menu. Great, we have just executed the transaction to post a GL document. To get back to the SAP menu tree, we need to exit out of this transaction. But before leaving, let's look at a few screen elements that are used within a transaction. First, the navigation pane. The navigation tree can be toggled on or off by clicking the appropriate button. The menu button is contained within the menu bar, and each transaction will display a set of buttons specific to that transaction. Some transactions will offer multiple tabs, which can display different sets of data within that transaction. If you begin entering data on this screen, you may need to use the cancel button on the status bar to clear the screen of any data you have entered. You can also use the cancel button to back out of the transaction. You can also use the exit button to back out of the transaction and return to the SAP Easy Access menu. And finally, the back button can also be used to return you to the prior screen. Let's click the exit button to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. Again, SAP will warn me that any unsaved data will be lost. Instead of using your mouse to navigate the SAP menu, let's try using your keyboard. Locate the up and down arrows on your keyboard and use it to navigate the SAP menu. Once you've selected a folder, press Enter to open that folder. Navigate the submenu again with the up and down arrows until you find the folder you wish to expand, pressing Enter to expand that folder. Navigate to the transaction you wish to launch and press Enter to execute that transaction. Great, we have just started the transaction to post a GL document using the keyboard instead of our mouse. To get back to the SAP menu tree, we need to back out of this transaction. Again, we can click the exit button to return to the SAP menu. Congratulations, you've completed this lesson and learned how the SAP menu tree is organized. You should be able to recognize and start a transaction from the SAP menu tree, as well as exiting a transaction once it's been launched. 